Hi, my name is Diamond Lange. I'm 21 years old. My nationality is Tongan and my current occupation is a model. <laughs> So tell us about your journey to becoming a model. Um, well, it's actually really funny because I stumbled um, on it by accident because um, I started doing acting and singing. And when I signed up at a, with an agency at the age of 14, um, they were like, do you want to do modeling? And I was like, oh, maybe not. And then they put me in front of the camera and I was like, I loved it ever since. I was like, oh, well, I'll try and do it. You know? <laughs> um, who did you look up to when growing up? I looked up to my dad. Um, he was a great role model to me just because, you know, we never had much in life, but he showed me, you know, at a young age, just because we didn't have nothing, you, you know, it wasn't like it didn't stop us like or stopped anyone for living your dreams and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what was your first gig? My first gig, my first ever big gig was um, I did a show for um, Walt Disney. And I was really nervous. Like, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then I could see my mom. She was like, you better do this right. <laughs> so that was my first gig. And I think that's when I built my confidence. Yeah, so they just made us. So they had a lot of performances, a lot of um, kids singing or dancing. And then um, they made my age group, was like 14 years old, just do like a little um, catwalk and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what would be some of the highlights of your career? Um, I think for me is when I run into um, the younger generations of like Pacific girls and they're like oh you inspire me and stuff I, I get emotion like emotional because I'm like oh I still have a long way to go I'm like oh no we're you know we're still the same but when they tell me that it makes me want to do it even more like I'm like I just want to try even harder to keep pushing for it you know? why modeling um, you know, I still can't answer that question. It's very glamorous and, um, and all of that, but the other side is it's very catty and very competitive. Like, um, I had one guy tell me, like one of the photographers, and he was like, oh, you're, you're too big. And I'm like, I'm anorexic looking, are you kidding? Like, he's like, you're, you're too curvy. And I'm like, but I'm not going to change. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm happy with how I am. And, if you want me to be skinnier, I'm not going to do that. So it's, it, I think you just have to, you know, put your heels down and like, hey, I'm here and I'm me. I don't want to be anybody else. I think, you know, my culture, you know, being Tongan was like, you know, beauty is what you are. If you have to change and become, you know, like everyone, like, you know, westernized and stuff, everyone's going to be like, you know, you're losing your culture and stuff. But I think if I didn't have that knowledge, I think I, I would have been lost a long time ago. I've always loved being in front of the camera, like whether if it's modeling or um, acting and stuff, but I've always loved being in front of the camera. So we just never know. Maybe I'm, I'm like a rapper or something. It's <laughs> just kidding. Um, what keeps you motivated? What keeps me motivated is my parents because I want to give them a better life. Um, I think every Pacific Islander wants to give their parents or their family a better life. And, when you see them struggle, you're like, I want to give back more to them. Yeah. Do you get to work alongside other Polynesians in your field of work? Um, sometimes. Like, you know, like out west out here, I love to work with the Polynesian community. Um, but usually when I'm doing um, like high fashion and stuff, I don't really see many. But I want to bring a lot, you know, because we have so many beautiful women. I'm like, come on now. Hi. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> um, what other talents do you have apart from modeling and singing? Um, I think it would be acting. Acting and um, I want to get into the field of designing. Just something different like, I don't know, I, I just want to be that Polynesian girl that can show, um, you know, younger girls, you can do whatever you want if you really put your mind into it. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so explain the no-nos of the leak videos. <laughs> so I did it by accident. I was like, it was just a funny video. I was like, oh, no, no. And then everyone was like, that's funny. And I'm like, really? It was just like a little muck around. And so when I did it, I was like, I'm going to actually start speaking the truth. Like, no knows with, you know, when a lot of people are like, did you see that they did this, did this? So I was like, I want to help people stay away from that and just tell them those are the no knows, you know? <laughs> Simon's no no. <laughs> um, what's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is to make it to Hollywood.
um, I know I still have a, a long way to go, but I know just from the guidance of God and, you know, the support with my parents, I just, I just want to go there. You know what I mean? And just set an example. Like, we, we can all do it as a Polynesian community. Yeah. <laughs> How do you connect with your culture and community outside of work? Um, I do a lot of cultural performances, um, and I try to keep, like, try to speak it well. Like, you know, when my parents speak it, I try to speak it back and just to learn it well. So when I have kids, I teach them. But I think um, how I keep it really alive is um, doing it, performing it, learning about the food and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, any up and coming events you might be involved in? Um, I'm actually going for a pageant in Thailand. But a lot of people don't know the reason why I'm doing that pageant is to um, get ready um, for Miss Earth because I'll be representing Tonga right when I come back from Thailand. So just one week and then go back to the Philippines and um, run for Miss Earth. <laughs> Tell us about Miss Earth. Well, I stumbled by it like because the um, guy that's taking me, it's Tito. He does um, lavish couture and then he's like, I want you to go and do um, face of beauty to represent Tonga. So when we're working together and he's like, actually, like after this pageant, I would want you to go to Tonga and represent Miss Earth. And I'm like, are you being serious? <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, I was like, are you like for reals? And he's like, yes. Yeah. So now I'm training, like, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to give it my best when I go into the Philippines and just bring my A game. <laughs> um, any inspiring words for the young Pacific youth? Um, I think is just never change. Like, you know, never be ashamed of, um, your situation or if you're poor and stuff like just go out and do it like you're gonna get haters or you know whatever people that's gonna bring you down but just you know what you do to them is just smile and be positive and just keep doing your thing yeah <laughs> My nationality is Tongan, I was born in New Zealand and moved out to Salt Lake City, Utah, Glendale. Now I'm in Australia, posted like a villain, chasing after dreams. The only thing to me is winning, man, I ride like a lion, I'm a buffalo soldier. See my pops working hard, all this credit's going to him. I do it for my dream, I do it for my fans, do it for the poly women, showing y'all to make a stand. Never been a rich girl, never been ashamed to struggle, never had much, but that was in a Problem. Shout out to my haters, cause I see that you're looking Got nothing but love, cause I'ma keep it moving 676, six. don't let that fool knocking at your mataba When I hit you with this fire, you can seem to bring it down Don't let the kindness fool you, I roll like a boss Always talk about business every time I'm on my road Bring my A games every time I'm on my shows I let my work talk while I hustle some more